pogroms were not new to Nazi Germany. The Russians have practiced genocide against Jewish people long before. But it has to be something every future generation, including yourself, has, you know, without hearing your mother's story, you have this in the back of your history. You have this Absolutely. in the back of your mind. So without even knowing this before this book happened, how did this knowledge impact your life and your mother's life? So that is a wonderful question, Debbie, because to be very honest about it, I really did not, I knew that my family was German and I knew that something happened to them. I had no details. My grandparents and my mom would not speak about it. Starting in the 1960s, the German government set up a program where they paid all expenses for, they called it the, the return of the lost citizens. And they invited from all over the world, Germans that had to leave to come back. My mom refused to do that program. She said, I never want to step foot on German soil again. But in the year 2000, my brother, sister, and I talked her into going back because we thought it would be good closure and it would be healthy for her. So she wrote to the, these, these were all coordinated by the different cities. She got the invitation from the mayor of Stuttgart. She wrote him back and said, I will come. They invited her and another person. I will come if I can bring my daughter and my granddaughter, who was 16 at the time, so that three generations can dance on Hitler's grave, although Hitler wasn't even buried there, but it was a philosophical thing. She said, if I can bring three generations, I will go back. And they said, yes. Now, the reason this is important is my mom still wasn't talking about anything. For this particular visit, there were 20 exiles that came back. And these other people during various programs in high schools and at, at conferences were talking about what happened to them. And all of a sudden, one day in front of my daughter and myself and a crowd of people, my mom started talking about all of this stuff we had never heard before, never heard a word. She comes back to America after the trip. This is the year 2000. And she sits down and she writes her memoir. Wow. She had one request that we do nothing with it until she passed. And I think it's because once she wrote it, she didn't want to talk about it anymore. 